everyone and welcome to another first taste with hope thanks for joining us today we are also exploring another locals restaurant and this one actually just so happens to be their number one recommended restaurant to me on the list that i got of votes of where to eat in the myrtle beach area and this one is located near the surfside beach area this restaurant is called greg's cabana and we are super excited to be here and try all this good food and i don't know about you but i'm ready to go eat so let's go Just the settings, but this is good. Oh, that sounds good. Cool, that sounds good. Yeah, you can talk to the camera one day. All this just sounds so good. I'm like, I'm really excited now. The menu doesn't seem like much at first glance with it being a paper menu and everything, but let me tell you, I'm looking at things and I'm going, I need that in my life. I need it now. They have appetizers, their salads are here. They have specials that are dining only. Their burgers and baby back ribs, both of which were recommended. Of course, they both were half and tied for to get that. And they got sandwich and baskets on the back. So I'm looking at the appetizers. I feel like, I know for sure that the soft pretzels are recommended. And I think um, the crab dip. Remember, the crab dip, that was recommended. So we'll probably, we'll probably try one or two of those. Maybe both, we might get one, not sure just yet. But those were the two recommended items, soft pretzels and the crab dip. And then, like I said, the two most recommended items were the ribs and the burgers. And then after that, it was the, um, they might not have it right now. Um, I know somebody recommended steak and somebody recommended shrimp. But it doesn't look like I see that right now, so it might be might be limited or I might not can see it. Oh, I do see, I do see a steak. So they, they do have steak, oh, they do have seafood. Okay, so they have both. So the seafood and steak came up after that. And those were the recommended items on this menu. Hello, party people. <laughs> um, we're in Greg's Panna, as y'all know. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the sweet tea taste test. You know, I keep getting all these sweet teas. It's gonna make me fat, but you know, I gotta do it for the, the people. So. Definitely better than the last one I had. <laughs> so I give this. I give it a seven. I give it a solid seven. It's not better than this this one particular one that I had that I will not mention because I don't want to name call. But it's not it's not as bad as the last one I had. So I give it a seven pretty good it's got some good sugar in there it's really sweet the tea that they use is really good I can tell um, I can tell that they brew it really well yeah I give this a good seven that looks pretty good doesn't it this is my gun yeah all right so first of all the bread that looks freaking good it's crispy it's also got a softness to the one side but then it's kind of crispier on the other love it then we got the crab dip over here and you can see the spices on the top which look crazy and then you look at that look how creamy that is yo you can't get that everywhere okay all right remember this was one of the recommended items for us to test test out so here it goes and it looks steamy hot so it might be hot so Apologize in advance. I need a double bite of that. I know. I say it every time, but the people have spoken. That might be the best crab dip I've had. Y'all know Grummy Monk is my favorite restaurant but this might be better than theirs. So, it's a really good crab dip. Lots of good spices, really flavorful. It's smooth, it's creamy. It's got just the right amount of spice, but just the right amount of crab. So, definitely, I give this a good thumbs up. High five. I like this song, but it's probably copyrighted, so this probably sucks. <laughs> um, all right, we got the burger here. Looks very good. Got the lettuce tomato. Of course, no onion, as you know. I'm gonna cut it in half so I can get a good grip on it. Let's see if I can cut this sandwich. As we know, I'm not good with knives. <laughs> no, see, I can't cut still. It's not the restaurant's fault, it's just me. 
as a person. Oh crap. I'm trying, I swear it's not their fault. I'm, I'm not good with the knife. All right, here we go. Look at this, look in the middle. See all that, look at those fresh ingredients. It looks so good. All right, here it goes. Best, beach in the, best burger in the beach we're gonna see. Pretty good burger. So I think it's the best. I don't think it's the best, but I do think it's pretty good. Let me give it one more bite to see where I rank it. It's pretty good. The burger is really strong and it's cooked, it's cooked really well. You know, I think I might put this in my top 10. Yeah, it's, it's not my top 10, it's probably my top 15. It's, it's a pretty good burger. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm in for this. I give it give it two thumbs up. I give it probably, it's a go. I say you should come here and get one. I have the Bayou Chicken. They have a Bayou Burger and a Bayou Chicken. Options. On this one, it's a it's pepper jack cheese on a blackened grilled chicken breast. And like a medley of peppers. So if you like spice, it's probably what you want to get. What can I, what can I say? Let me see if I can pick this up. There are points for being able to pick it up. <laughs> It is still a sandwich. Or you could get All right. Yeah, so there you can see the, the peppers, the pepper jack. That's good chicken breast. Chicken breast? That's very good. Very good? It's spicy. Those peppers have marinated. I mean, even here you can see there's some kind of red pepper, maybe a chili, jalapeno, or a green pepper. Oh yeah, and look at the char grilling on this. On the grilled chicken. Yeah, this is one of the better grilled chicken sandwiches I've had. Local, at least. I always prefer the fried chicken, but with this kind of style, peppers always go so well with the chicken. Thumbs up, yeah. Thumbs up, we love it. I am full, my belly is full. Thanks to Greg's Cabana. That's just a good beat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we are at the end of another First Taste with Hope. Thanks so much for coming to our video. Greg's Cabana definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Again, it was the number one recommended restaurant to go to in the Surfside area. So if you are in the Myrtle Beach area, I definitely say give it a try because we did, and we were, we were loving it like we loved all the food the food was good from what we got we got the crab dip the burger the chicken sandwich so good so honestly come back try this if you haven't already if you're a local definitely give it a go because i give it a good thumbs up and we'll be back again probably so there we have it i'll see you guys next time on another first taste with hope